you have joined us in starting up. Now, if like me, you're a working individual, then making sure the house is well stocked with groceries and provisions, well, it can be quite a task. And somehow, a trip to the store never just seems to fit into your tight schedule. Well, that's where a bunch of startups have actually spotted opportunity. They're trying to innovate the process of home delivery. Babita Balan and Davina Munro get us that story on our trend wheel. Buying groceries in a vegetable market like this one can be absolutely chaotic. Not only does it take a long time, but you can also never be completely sure of what you're buying. There is a way to avoid all this, and here are a couple of startups that are helping with just that. We all remember the story of online grocer Webvan, a startup which raised funding from the Valley's best investors before finally ending as the biggest failure in Silicon Valley history. After the Wetland disaster, investors have stayed away from this sector. But hey, India is a different market and a number of startups have scouted to cater to the online grocery industry. One of the earliest to foray into this space was FreshAndDaily.com, an online grocery shop set up in 2010 that works on a consignment model with no stocking of inventory whatsoever. The model which we thought of is, um, uh, has a big advantage that we don't have to incur uh, reality costs. And secondly, since we don't have to stock a lot of inventory, it's very good for our balance sheet. It's a very asset-like model and it has the scalability of a big hyper store. First, log onto the website and register yourself. Then browse through the categories to find the products of your choice, add them to your cart, choose your delivery time and your payment mode, and you're done. Startups have catered this to user requirements. So you can choose to get your order delivered at night or even choose to pay by Sodexo meal vouchers. Keeping the target market of housewives in mind, more startups in the space also have an order by phone and a cash on delivery model built in. Like in the generic e-commerce space, startups in this space operate in two models. One where they deliver to the user themselves, either using their own warehouses or a consignment model. And the other where they take orders and pass them over to the local grocers to carry out the delivery. Our arm shop has opted for the second option, where they work with local grocers to carry out the order. Our arm shop uh, technically is not really a grocer. We are not set up to uh, uh, do warehousing and distribution of grocery products but more a marketing uh, and analytical option for uh, brands and for them to connect better with the consumers. Apart from these four, there are as many as four other players in this space, taking the total number of players to eight. And Ambuj Junjambala, founder of MyGrahat.com, another venture in this space, believes that while the model might not have taken off in the US, it's been validated in other geographies like England and Sweden. Online grocery shopping has been a success in Europe uh, and uh, to talk about countries like England and Sweden, uh, we feel that England, uh, the UK itself is doing about 7 lakh to 10 lakh orders a week. Uh, you know, if you compare uh, India with on that front, uh, we are still at a very, uh, you know, things are very nascent. One challenge when you compare online grocery stores to offline ones is the sale of inventory. And Venkat Krishna, founder of Chennai based stores on those.com, points out how the offline grocery stores have certain advantages when it comes to impulse purchases as compared to online ones. Once a customer go to a retail shop, their expenses on uh, this impulsive shopping will be 20% of their exact shopping what they, uh, they are supposed to make. Tropicana juice, buy one, get one free, they won't think whether it is needed. They just go for it because they get one free. Whereas you can't do all these uh, gimmicks in this type of business. The space is very nascent. And on an average, most players in the space carry out 100 orders per day at an average value of Rs. 600 per order, with a space in total reaching out to approximately 50,000 customers. The margins in the space are approximately 15%, while industry experts believe that the total size of the market is Rs. 5 crores. So how do investors view this market as an early investment opportunity? And K. Ganesh, who has invested in shopasyoulike.com, believes that this market has huge potential. 
you look at some estimates, it puts it at $320 billion uh, is the Indian grocery market, okay, right? And even if you take a fraction of it online, it's a very large uh, business. And we have had today proven international online grocery companies that started and scaled. A nascent business in India, but with a growth rate of almost 30% year on year, one can see this market only expanding in the years ahead. Something entrepreneurs will be banking on is the proliferation of internet usage, online, on tablets and on the mobile phones. And it will be the perfect meshing of offline expertise in the SMCG space and leads to multiple platforms that will help startups take advantage of the big grocery opportunity. Now while we get to see any venture capital interest in this space, you can be sure those folks are keeping a close watch on all developments. Alright, time for another break then here on the show, but coming up. On Bootstrap, we meet some of India's best product entrepreneurs who take us to the ABC of building that awesome product.